So we're on buoyancy calculations part two. These calculations are getting trickier and trickier. You need to watch these videos in the order they're intended to be watched in by viewing them through my website, www.goprocaribbean.com, to make the most out of them. So this is example question six. This question is asking us for the volume of an object. We've got all the information we need given to us in the question. We just need to make sense of it. We make sense of it by using the diagram. So let's draw our object, a cube. And then we know it has an upward force, which ba is based on its volume uh, and the type of water it's in. And we have a downward force, which is its weight. Well, we multiply to find the upward force. So let's just put that sign in right now. And then let's look at the question and take the information that we are given. The first bit of information that interests me is its weight, 75 kilograms. So let's enter that in. The next bit of information that interests me is the type of water I'm in. Salt water, so the constant is 1.03. So I've got a lot of information. Now the fact that it is negatively buoyant by 20 kilograms is the other bit of information I need. What am I saying? Well, if it's negatively buoyant by 20 kilograms, that means the upward force is 20 kilograms less than the downward force. If the downward force is 75 kilograms, then the upward force must be 55 kilograms. So now I have that information, I'm going to inverse my arrow. I have the upward force, I want the volume. If I'm inversing the arrow, I need to inverse the multiplication sign. The opposite of multiply is divide. So 55 divided by 1.03 will give me the volume based on the upward force that I already know. 55 divided by 1.03 is rounded 53 litres, the correct answer is B.